John was really funny. He was utterly himself, very loyal, very honest, very smart, but really funny. We both knew that his diagnosis was most likely to be cancer. I think there's something in the way that people begin to deal with you and the way that the language develops. Even though nobody at that point will say absolutely, definitely, because they have to do plenty of tests and you, you, know, you enter the period of waiting which everybody who is dealing with anything to do with cancer will understand only too well. You are constantly between appointments and waiting and then waiting for the results of more scans, tests, whatever. I am not a very natural carer, but you feel all the things that are no use. You feel helpless and guilty and angry and a bit frustrated and impatient. And I'm going to be really honest, I hated a lot of that. I really hated a lot of that. I hated it mostly, of course, because of what it did to John. Because, you know, to watch somebody that you love struggling or suffering or in pain is not great. But it's really hard to be the one watching. I think there is a huge expectation, both for the person with the diagnosis and with everybody around them who is looking after them in any capacity, that you somehow access a part of you, perhaps dormant till now, that you become the most fantastic, empathetic, smiling, sympathetic, wonderful, caring person. Good luck, because actually, you have to draw on all those things, of course you do, but you're also you, you're quite busy being you, and you are still, and I'm speaking about myself, a bit grumpy, a bit irrational, a bit sort of weary of it. Sometimes you just think, oh, can I just have one day where this isn't what we're doing together, you know, particularly near the end. So I think what you really need is to relax with people who expect nothing from you except that you might answer the question, do you have sugar in your tea? Maggie's is an immensely open organisation. I mean, every single centre feels instantly warm, but without being overbearing. It feels practical without being structured. And it encourages you to find your own way to what you need, which I think is really empowering. It's like a really good friend, basically. A really good friend who knows you warts and all like good friends do.